guys. Long time no talk to. <laughs> it's Monday. Um, taking a much needed break today from all the packing and moving we've been doing with my husband's office and my mother-in-law's move to a new home. Um, so yeah, I've really done nothing today. I cleaned the boys' faces. I have not cleaned Grant's yet, who's over here. Um, I've got to wait for my husband to get home to help me with him. Um, if you're a new viewer, Grant is a rescue. He's 14 years old and he can be a bit nippy uh, <laughs> when trying to wash his face. Um, so yeah, I've got to wait for my husband to get home to do that. So, but I wanted to say thank you to Fred from Farmington. Hold on here. Farmington, Michigan. He sent the boys. It's been probably two weeks now. These treats from Trader Joe's, which I'm so jealous. I wish there was a Trader Joe's near me in Swords Creek, Michigan, but sadly there's not. Um, but he sent these boy, uh, the boys some salmon jerky and some chicken tenders. So I figured since I washed, well, I didn't wash Grant, but he's still going to get a treat because he's going to get washed. I figured we would try these out because um, I usually give them a treat after I wash their face and brush them and everything. Um, so we're going to give the boys a treat. Um, so thank you, Fred, so much for the treats. Oh, wait, hold on, boys. We got to show pictures of his baby, his baby Fritz. Was that the name? Was that his baby's name? Yes. Fritz. Fritz of Farmington. <laughs> he sent some pictures. Okay, looks like you, Magnum. Look at that. Oh, put your face over here. There you go. <laughs> Isn't he handsome? There's that one. Here's one in the sunshine. Oh, there's a glare. Oh, you stop being mouthy. Um, kind of looks white in the uh, silver, I should say, in the sunshine like Magnum. And then here's one with the snowy, snowy beard. <laughs> Magnum! He always gets mouthy when there's treats around. He doesn't do anything. He just likes to talk and try to tell the other boys, hey, I'm getting it first. <laughs> you think you're getting your treat first, Magnum? So thank you so much, Fred, for the photos and the treats for the boys. So this is the salmon jerky. He said, sorry, they weren't bigger bags, but that's okay. Look at these boys. I can't even get it. Let me get your wet nose off me. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see how many's in here. See if I'm gonna have to open another bag. One, two, they're gonna climb in my lap. Okay, get back. There's six, so I'm gonna open up the chickens, uh, chicken jerky too. <laughs> they are digging. Grant is the only good boy. I think he's getting the treat first because he's being the only good boy not jumping on my lap. Um, I should have opened these before. I turned on the camera. <laughs> Bad call, Kim. Bad call. Oh, Max, you're gonna you're gonna knock the camera over. Okay. They're digging their claws in my legs. Okay, we're gonna give Grant a cookie first or a treat. No, no, Grant, get back. No, it's for Grant because he's being a good boy. Okay. Here's the salmon jerky. Oh, Max. Sharks over here. I just dropped a piece of. Okay, there you go. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> my legs are killing me now from their claws in my legs. Um. Uh, Mozzie over there with his butt sticking out of the dog bed. He always takes his treat to the dog bed and then he sticks his butt out while he eats it. Max, you're gonna knock the camera over. Um, Kitty wants a cookie now. Okay, hold on. Let me get you a cookie. If I don't give him a cookie, I'll knock my camera over for sure. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Come here, kitty. Come here. You don't want nobody to see you? Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's put those away. Sorry, the camera's shaking. I was opening a drawer. Um, Mozzie is doing great since having his dental work done. Uh, if you remember, last week he had 10... 10 teeth pulled. He's doing great. He's back to eating his dry dog food. He ate soft dog food for about four and a half days, four and a half, five days. Um, and he's back to his, getting his treats. 
um, eating his dry dog food, he's doing great. Um, he's got two more doses of his antibiotic he has to take um, from the abscess he had underneath his, in, uh, by his root of one of his teeth um, that was pulled. So he's almost done with his antibiotic. He's doing great. Um, what else is going on? Uh, Mr. Grant, I have to take to um, the Animal Surgical Center tomorrow. He has to get some blood work done. Um, Dr. Pearson wanted to see him six months after his last blood work he had done, after he had his gallbladder out. So it's just kind of a, a follow-up to make sure everything is okay. Um, I don't foresee any problems. He's been doing awesome. Um, so we've got to go there at 8.15 tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on with the boys. Everybody else been doing great. Mozzie, come here. Tell everybody you've been doing wonderful. Here, say hi. Say hi. My mouth feels a lot better. <laughs> He's like, what am I doing up here? Just give me some treats. <laughs> yeah, so these, um, the salmon jerky, the crude fat is 3%. Um, those are gone, Mozzie. And then the, um, chicken tenders, which is like chicken jerky. Um, this was... The crude fat was 1.7%. <laughs> Mazzy says, let me open that. Let me get a, let me get a crack at that packaging. Ah, uh, did you like that? Did you like your salmon jerky? I don't know if they've ever had salmon jerky before. I don't know if you guys have ever had salmon jerky before. Um, but they liked it. I don't think you guys have ever turned your nose to a treat. I don't think you ever have. No, I don't think you ever have. Miggy's not... The biggest fan of apples um but um that's about it i think they've liked any treat i've ever given them <laughs> i think so look at marley over here you see him he's like more treats please more treats please um so yeah my husband has all moved into his office um let me get my uh camera hold on They're still begging. They could still <laughs> you still smell the treats over here? There's a couple chicken treats left in the bag. Yes, there is. Um, <laughs> so my husband has all moved into his office. They're all settled and up and running. They even had a couple closings last week. So that is great. Um, we're still waiting for the sign for the building to be uh, finished getting made. Um, so that's going to be another couple weeks before the sign's up on the, the building. Okay, get down. I can't film everyone with you up here. Um, and we still got to do some decorating in the office. There's a lot of bare walls, but we're, we're not sure exactly how we want to decorate the office yet. So we're going to take our time on all of that. Um, <clears throat> once the sign is up and we get all that done, I think we're going to have an open house there, um, to celebrate. We kind of have like a grand opening uh at the new building so um my mother-in-law hopefully fingers crossed the appraisal came back um friday of last week so that's all good we've got to um now hopefully get it closed this week milo what <laughs> you trying to sneak up here and think you're gonna be able to sneak a chicken jerky huh <laughs> Um, get down. So we're hoping to get that closed this week and possibly, um, the old owners are already moved out. So as soon as we get it closed, we can move her in. So we're hoping maybe Friday to get it, her moved into her new place. We're about, I'm going to say six, we have her packed about 60% packed. Um, we're taking our time and really going through things, making sure she's not taking anything she don't need. Um, and by that, I mean, like, she's, she, um, lives on her own. She's only cooking for herself. She's not making the big family meals anymore. Those get made here at my house now. Um, so she doesn't need, like, tons of pots and pans. She doesn't need, like, huge Tupperware bowls and huge serving dishes anymore. So we've really been going through a lot of her, um, stuff that she's accumulated uh, through many years, um, and making sure she's taking exactly what she needs. Um, we're not, she's not getting rid of any sentimental stuff, stuff like that. Just, just household stuff. We've already donated, I think, 
I think we've donated like 10 big boxes of stuff already. Um, so last time when she moved and we moved her here closer to us, um, when she was sick and going through an illness, um, we just were just throwing stuff in boxes. We just wanted to get her here and closer here to us to take care of her. Um, so we really didn't go through everything. This time we're really taking our time, um, with packing her up. Hi, Grant. Hi, Grant. Um, so <laughs> I always have to have a dog on my lap. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can move her Friday. If not this weekend, hopefully, um, Keep your fingers crossed for us. <laughs> Hopefully we can get that done. It'd be nice to have all that done this week. Because um, if we could get her moved, if we could get it all moved over there Friday, we'll have all weekend to get her settled and unpacked and um, and be done with that um, too. Um, and then we can kind of get back into the swing of thing is just day by day living. <laughs> Not all this packing and moving and, oh, getting U-Hauls and getting two men in a truck. And it's just been a really stressful past couple of weeks, especially for my husband. So um, let's hope that all goes good this week. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. Oh, no, no, no. I got to share something else. Hold on. Okay, I need to share one more gift we got in the mail. And this was actually for my husband. Um, a subscriber sent this for my husband when he had his fall and had his concussion and they wanted to brighten his day. I believe it was the, the matter. Um, Magnum. I'm trying to talk to our friends. I believe it was George and Susan matter. I wrote it down on a piece of paper and I can't find it. So please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. They sent him a get well gift and he was so surprised. He said, I never get anything for myself. <laughs> So look at this awesome t-shirt. It says Schnauzer Dad. And look at that awesome Schnauzer with the American flag sunglasses. He loves it and it fits him perfect. Thank you guys so much. It did brighten his day. He was very excited to actually get a gift for, for him. <laughs> so, um, and thank you again, Fred, for the treats for the boys. And thank you so much for the photos. I love getting photos of your guys' babies because... I always look at them and I think, who does this remind me of of my boys? And and Fritz, this picture, especially here, his eyes and that sweet face. If you can t look at, look at Mozzie. Look at that sweet face. It reminds me of Mozzie's uh, sweet eyes. And Mozzie's like, you're saying my name. You're saying my name, Mom. But he, it just reminds me of Mozzie. Fritz is so handsome. So... Thank you guys so much for always thinking of us, thinking of me, my husband, the boys. We really appreciate it. So, all right, guys, we will see you again in our next video. Bye.